हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 3.9 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 3 रिवर्सिबल एंड इररिवर्सिबल प्रोसेसेस फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड निकोंगी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज नाइट्रोजन हैविंग मोलर मास 28 किलोग्राम पर किलो मोल एक्सपेंड्स रिवर्सिबली इन अ परफेक्टली थर्मली इंसुलेटेड सिलेंडर फ्रॉम 3.5 पॉइंट फाइव बार टू हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टू अ वॉल्यूम ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन क्यूबिक मीटर इफ द इनिशियल वॉल्यूम अकुपाइड वाज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री क्यूबिक मीटर कैलकुलेट द वर्क इनपुट assume nitrogen to be a perfect gas and take the value of specific heat case capacity at constant volume 0.741 kJ per kg per kg so first of all uh, we will write the given data nitrogen molar mass is 28 kg per kilo mole and it is contains in a perfectly thermally insulated cylinder meaning that there will be no heat transfer from r to the cylinder so in this case q will be zero also the pressure initially p1 is 3.5 bar and temperature t1 is 200 degree centigrade when it expands its volume increases and v2 is 0.09 cubic meter while initially the volume is v1 and it is 0.03 cubic meter also the value of cv is 0.741 kJ per kg per kilo we are required to find the work input and that is w from 1 to 2 during the expansion process so if we want to plot this expansion process this this is actually adiabatic expansion process on pv diagram so this is the schematic of adiabatic expansion on the pv diagram initially we have properties of the nitrogen at state 1 and here pressure p1 is 3.5 bar t1 is 200 degree centigrade and v1 is 0.03 cubic meter it expands adiabatically according to the law p v power gamma is equal to constant until state 2 and at this state we have volume which is 0.09 cubic meter so here the volume is v1 it is 0.03 and here at v2 we have volume 0.09 cubic meter so as we go down the volume increases now coming to the solution of this problem the expression used for the solution of work input is the adiabatic work done 
and that is W is equal to P2 V2 minus P1 V1 by gamma minus 1. So looking to this expression and from the given data we have some missing terms which we will find in this problem. So starting the solution of the problem as we know that for adiabatic expansion process or any adiabatic thermodynamic process W is equal to P2 V2 minus P1 V1 over gamma minus 1. So let's suppose this is expression A. Here this is small v represents specific volume and over here we have capital V which is simply volume specific volume and only one volume has a relationship that is specific volume is equal to capital V by M specific volume has unit of kilogram has a unit of cubic meter per kilogram while only volume has unit of cubic meter. So if we assume that this nitrogen is a unit having unit mass so for that case we can replace these specific volume terms by capital V's. So in this expression we don't know about the value of P2. We will find it also the value of gamma is unknown. So we will first find the value of gamma and then the value of P2. Remaining terms are given in the given data. So finally we will put out these values in this expression and we will find the work input. So as we know that specific gas constant or particular gas constant is equal to R bar which is universal gas constant or molar gas constant divided by molar mass. So here molar mass is given and the value of R bar is 8.3143 kilojoule per kilo mole per kilowatt and the value of M bar is 28 kilogram per kilo mole. So when we simplify this so it becomes R is equal to 0 0.297 kilojoule per kilogram per kilowatt. The difference in the units of R and R bar is only kilomole and kilogram. The units of R is kilojoule per kilogram per kilowatt and the units of R bar is kilojoule per kilomole per kilowatt. Now we will use the expression to find the isentropic index or the diabetic index that is gamma and it is equal to gamma is equal to 1 plus R by CV. This expression is also discussed in chapter number 2 problems of this book. So 1 plus R is calculated which is 0 0.297 divided by the value of CV is given which is 0 0.741. So simplifying this we get the value of gamma and its value comes out 1.401. Also now 
we can find the value of P2. Here we can write for the state that P1 V1 power gamma is equal to P2 V2 power gamma. This is for state 1 and this is for state 2 and it will be equal to a constant and that constant will have same value for this term as well as for this term. So rearranging this for P2, so P2 is equal to P1 V1 power gamma divided by V2 power gamma. So we can also write this like this P2 is equal to P1 into V1 over V2 power gamma. Now to find P2 we will put the values of P1, V1 and V2 in this expression. So P2 is equal to P1 value is given which is 3.5 bar. 3.5 into V1 is given which is 0.03 and V2 is 0.09 power uh, gamma is calculated over here which is 1.401. So simplifying this the value of P2 comes out 0.752 bar. Now we found the value of gamma and P2 which were unknown in this expression. Now using expression A which is W is equal to P2 V2 minus P1 V1 by gamma minus 1. So directly putting the values in expression A the value of W is equal to I am directly putting the values which are P2 V2 P2 is calculated which is 0.752 and V2 is 0.09 minus P1 is 3.5 bar and value of V1 is 0.03 divided by gamma minus 1, 1.401 minus 1. So we will convert bar into Pascal. So simply we will multiply 10 to the power 5 with this whole term which is 10 to the power 5. So simplifying this, the value of W comes out is equal to 0 0.9.31 kilojoule with minus sign. When we simplify this, we get minus 9.31 kilojoule. So minus sign indicates that this is the work done from the system and during expansion we get work from the system that's why this value is negative so we can also write that the work input for this is we can simply write that the work during expansion is 9.31 kilojoule like this in that, in that case, work during expansion is equal to 9.31 kilojoule. So in this case, it is not necessary to write minus sign over here. So this is the Solution of problem 3.9. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos.
ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट न्यू वीडियोज